The core strength of Hypertherm is its people, um, probably what we take the most pride in and what people relate to most quickly is the quality um, of the people that they work with and their commitment. People from the sales teams in Asia, Latin America, North America, Europe work together. We've made this transition in really the last, say, 25 years from being virtually 100% domestic company to now being international. We are seeing huge gains in South America, in the, in the Far East, and even, even in Europe. We have OEM customers from traditional Western Europe, Germany, Italy, uh, the UK, etc down to Russia, down to Turkey, down to South Africa. The end user customers see our technology in a, in a widely spread area and will ask our channel partners for a Hypertherm product. It's also, I think, our, our focus on the culture and paying attention to our associates and making this a, a good working environment that also helps make us a world-class company. The basic idea that Bob Dean and I had was that if we could solve and technologically improve plasma cutting, we could make it a more widely used process for cutting steel. A lot of companies start with a technological breakthrough and you say, okay, let's, let's start a company around this. Uh, we, we started Hypertherm on, on the expectation that we could make a significant improvement. But the first 10 years of the company, the growth was relatively slow uh, and very controlled. Uh, and in the last 20 years, however, um, the growth has been rather phenomenal. A lot of new product developments, a lot of new people hired, a lot of additions on the building, and uh, it, it, it's been a, a really exciting thing to watch over, over the years. <laughs> I mean, we've had a culture of innovation here ever since Dick Couch started the company back in the 60s working on new technologies. It's the research and development and the amount of engineering that we put into our products. Uh, really makes them shine in terms of reliability and performance. I think our patents tell customers first and foremost that uh, we are a technology company and that that's the founding DNA of the organization and the continuing commitment and so that in purchasing Hypertherm equipment or becoming a partner with Hypertherm uh, that you're really joining uh, in that investment and can expect to benefit from continuous improvement in the technologies that we deploy. The Voice of the Customer program is a formal effort to go out into the field and talk to our customers, really ask them questions about what they're looking for in, in products. It's typically our goal to make each succeeding generation attractive enough to customers to drive them to upgrade their systems, to cut the system's operating costs, to increase its performance, to increase the cut quality in, in, in enough areas to drive them to do those upgrades and to make them feel that it's worthwhile to do them. The way that we ensure our products are of high quality is a combined effort between engineering and, and manufacturing. The engineers have to fully understand what they're asking the manufacturing um, side of the company to do. In, in other words, when we design our parts, we put specific and strict tolerances on critical dimensions. It's the engineer's job to understand how those critical dimensions affect the performance of, the, of our products. And it's up to manufacturing to meet all those specifications, to meet those tight tolerances for each one of the parts, and to manufacture them repeatedly with an incredibly high level of quality. A lean manufacturing environment is one that focuses on the ruthless elimination of waste in, in the manufacturing processes. We've come so far in the way we build machines. Um, it's amazing. We're trying to get products built at a great quality rate, at a good time rate to get them out the door to satisfy our customers. The atmosphere on the production line is fun. <laughs> I enjoy what I do, I enjoy the people I work with. 
Hypertherm is a plasma cutting manufacturer and over the course of uh, nearly 40 years of business has become a world-class company. There was early on a recognition that just having a good technology product was not enough to be successful. That you need world-class manufacturing, you need to be able to produce that product over and over again but you also need world-class customer service. I kind of look at the way we focus on our customers and how we consider the importance of our customers, uh, both end users and our product distributors alike, uh, is really not a lot different than it was the first day I walked in the door here. A couple years ago when I was first training with my physician, I had processed an order and it, I guess it was supposed to ship out that day. The customer had requested, well I put it in for the next day and then the customer called and they were actually just down in Connecticut, only a couple hours away. And they were, they were um, frustrated that you know we had missed this. And we actually took the part and we drove it down to the customer in Connecticut. So we had it later that day. My associate, Jake Emery, spent two hours today uh, working with a customer. Normal call is probably 10 minutes. Uh, and it was uh, really nice because I know the, the other guy on the end of the phone really appreciated it because he was new at his company. I think when customers call on the phone that the service is better because the associates here care more. And I think in terms of the products that you get, I think the associates are more, they, they feel ownership of these products because, because of the, the culture at Hypothetical. Happy associates are productive associates. Associates that feel valued and take a sense of pride in their work are associates who are going to deliver for the customer. I think at Hypertherm it's really about the internal culture being projected externally. When we first started profit sharing at Hypertherm, it just, I think, to me seemed like a fair idea. All of us that, that, are, that are here are now uh, part owners of the company, so we have, a, we have an interest in making sure that there's a long-term value that's developing within Hypertherm as well. Great atmosphere to work, everyone's on the same level. Um, there are no, uh, no one has any bigger, you know, desks or offices than anybody else. Even the, uh, the president of the company has a cubicle just like everybody else. So we, we try to consider ourselves all on the same level. They give you 16 hours of, of time to put towards community service. When my daughter goes to school, I'm looking forward to be able to put my time into her class trips and be able to put that time towards that. It's great. Providing for the well-being and development of our associates, which is a major part of our mission statement, is not all altruistic. We have to provide for the well-being and development of our associates if we want to move forward. We are a growing company, and if we don't provide for the development of our associates, we won't continue to move forward. What a student can learn coming to HGTI, uh, essentially with having no background, can learn to run a modern CNC lathe. And that's an advantage uh, to the associates themselves as well as to our customer in that the quality of the parts we produce are of higher quality because we have a much higher trained uh, workforce here at Hypertherm. I remember nine years ago I started and we were somewhere in the 400s. Uh, at the moment we're somewhat around 1,000 people. That it is amazing that with a company that has grown so fast that the real base values of the company have stayed intact. Continuous improvement is, is what we're all about here. You know, you, we're never satisfied with the status quo. We can't be. We always have to find ways to, to get better. Everyone's a part of the you know, continuous improvement. And that, that's our goal, is to have every single associate every day trying to improve what we're doing here. Everybody takes pride in their job here at Hypertherm and ownership. You know, and yet you don't stop even when it goes out the door. Today, I would say, and particularly in the last year, the message uh, and the information has just become that much more compelling about how much of the world's steel consumption 
uh, and especially plate steel consumption is taking place um, outside of North America, Western Europe. That's one thing you can take to the bank, is a change at hypertherm. It's a constant thing. And it's all for the better, of course. Hypertherm products are understood to be the best. They're, from my perspective, and what I hear from my business partners and customers, is that they're bulletproof. They definitely buy on a good, good product. Um, and you've got a lot of people that care and really put their heart into this place. We just try to be very good at the things that we choose to do. 